Hi everybody, I'm Judy. And I'm Jim, and welcome to It's a Highway Vlog, where you get to travel the country of us. It's just like a big board game. So while you're sitting at home, advancing your position. Don't forget to like our video, give us a big thumbs up, and for whatever you do, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> that's it, subscribe. Okay. So you don't miss a thing. Well, hey there. It's Labor Day weekend, and we don't have a load. But we're having fun anyway, because we're traveling down the highway. We're advancing our position. So we'll tell you a little bit more about that. She's speechless. <laughs> Coming up right after this. <laughs> Hello there. I know, surprised to see us as soon as, you know, like within the same week. No doubt. But here we are. We uh, have time on our hands. We have time on our hands. <laughs> and why do we have time on our hands? Because we don't have a load on our truck. <laughs> yep. Uh, it is Saturday evening and we are in Oklahoma. Yeah. We were in New Mexico because we left Texas and went to New Mexico. And we sat in New Mexico overnight last night. And then... Didn't have a load, and uh, well, we do have a load, but it picks up like the middle of next week. And why would we do that? Well, it's just because <laughs> you know that's the way it works on the weekends and <laughs> holiday weekends. Sometimes you just don't get freight. Sometimes you feel like a nut, and, and sometimes, sometimes you probably shouldn't get copyrighted for that. Uh, so anyway, like. <laughs> we are headed to Kansas. Uh, and we're going to probably spend a couple days there and then we'll eventually pick up and head on over, uh, to Illinois, we think, uh, probably by the middle of next week because we have to go home this next weekend. I have to be home for Friday morning. I have a doctor's appointment that I can't miss. And so that's what we're doing. We're that was of, part of the reason why we decided to skedaddle out of the West because we yeah. just, um, there were a lot of, uh, loads in the midwest that were popping out and we figured we had to get head east eventually yeah. so it was just like yeah let's just pick it up and tail between our legs and go we left but interesting thing is we actually got to go on a highway that we have never been on uh we left albuquerque this morning went up uh, interstate 25 which we've been on many times and then we eventually got on to it's like a combination, and, and they even do the signs are weird. They just they use one sign for two roads, and they it's it's US 56 and it, US 412, and they put it all on one sign. It's like they don't have money for more signs. They didn't have money for roads either. <laughs> the the stripes on the roads. We went for like 50 miles, and there were no lines on the road. Period. This is a US highway. No lines on the road. No, what was really funny about this is we thought, oh, they just paved it. And then we we go along the road and there's grass growing yeah. up on the sides so where the cracks there. are. It's been there for a while. Yeah, it's been uh, there for a while. And Jim does have an obsession about street or road signs and state routes and U.S. routes. Yeah. So he has a collection of signs. So that's where he, he has sort to Sort of my hobby. I just about. love the old U.S. highways. And uh, it was neat we got to travel on that. We're still on it. Yeah. Uh, and we'll, Santa Fe Trail. The is, Santa Fe Trail. There you go. Yeah, we kept seeing signs and we're like, where's it at? And apparently we were on it. Um, <laughs> the one road kind of felt like we were on it. Yeah. It felt like we had wagon ruts and everything going yeah, on. Yeah, they were still there. Uh, so I don't know if they paved it over or not. But anyway, uh, and we'll be on it tomorrow. We're sort of taking our time. It's sort of a sightseeing, you know, travel along some different weekend. roads. Holiday weekend. Yeah. So we're taking our time. So that's what we're doing. But now we are here. And uh, interestingly enough, we all, I don't think we've ever done this. We actually had a photo, somebody commented on our last video and they asked if we could do a video about personal conveyance. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, is a very sticky subject with a lot of companies, drivers, carriers. Essentially what personal conveyance is, is you take your truck and you use it to run a personal errand with that and you get to log that as off duty it's not counted against your on duty time off duty driving off duty yeah driving it's really weird <laughs> um but as long as you're not performing work for the company and a, or your carrier then that's considered personal conveyance so like right now we are setting at a loves truck stop and you know to get here on us 56 on us 56 <laughs> 
you know, if you're driving, you're on duty, but now we're parked. So technically we're on sleeper berth right at the moment uh, because we're in the sleeper berth, as you can tell, you know, um, you know, if we were work, if I was out working on the truck, uh, let's just say I was, uh, you know, fixing a wiring issue. That never happens. That never happens. Uh, if I was doing that, then I would have to log that time as on duty, you know. Um, but if we were driving down the road and we, you know, if we decided to drive from here, um, you know, like on our trip, whoever's driving has to be on duty. But I'm repeating myself. But like right now, if we wanted to go to Walmart, we could actually log that as off duty personal conveyance, drive to Walmart, get our stuff, come back. And that wouldn't count against our time. You know, we only get 70 hours in a week to work uh, and be able to drive. Now, let me ask you this question, though. But okay. we can only go to Walmart as long as it's not on our way to pick up the load. Right. Right? We are not allowed to basically, it's like Judy. So we couldn't go right down 56 and just say, hey, we're going to this Walmart down here on our way and use personal conveyance like from this loves on down 56 no. to another walmart we couldn't do that we could not do that, that because could not be used as personal we are conveyance. dispatched on a load so it, it's sort of weird it's it's like judy and i were talking earlier it's like a board game you can't advance your position <laughs> so you can't use personal you conveyance out of your way <laughs> to get closer to where you're delivering but you can use it or to go up, you know board delivering yeah i can go to walmart but then i have to come back here um, and there's other cases that you can use personal conveyance. The thing they changed a few years back is we can actually use it now, even if we're loaded. So if we actually had a load on our truck, we could stop here at the truck stop, go to on duty or off duty and use personal conveyance to go to Walmart or go to eat or to run errands and then come back to the truck stop. And it wouldn't count against our time. As long as we were not advancing our position towards right. our load, our delivery. And you know, you know, seventy hours sounds like a lot in a week. That's how many hours we can actually on duty. So, but sometimes we run out of hours. We've done that before, um, and so you want to save all those hours that you can. There's other instances that, like, if you're leaving from your from your house to go to your terminal. Like if you had a terminal, what we do, we don't have terminals, but a lot of big truck drivers do. You can log that as, as a personal conveyance or when you get done at night and you take the truck back to the terminal, then you, you drop the trailer and you want to take the truck to your house. You can log that as personal conveyance. Can you? Yes, you can. I read it. Now I should, should so we'll give it, what do we call it? It is Jim's reading. It's a disclaimer. It's the disclaimer. All opinions I expressed read. in this video are mine. It's only because I didn't read it. But seriously, uh, read up on that. Our carrier has sort of an issue with personal conveyance. Um, it's it's not the carrier. It's people that abuse the privilege of doing this. And it, you can get stopped by the DOT. Yes. And if they look at it and it's you're headed towards something they can they they can write you up for it yes yeah, so you right? can get you can get wrote up for it if you're using it wrong and that's like one of the you know it's just one of those things uh it's it's just one of those weird rules and the way the rules are actually written in the regulations it's got really it's vague um and i think it's done on purpose <laughs> it's just like everybody it's up to the interpretation <laughs> But, well, this week, we're going to think it's this week. Yeah. This week, I think we're going to do it. But essentially, week. it's just, you know, using your personal, using your truck as a personal vehicle while you're off duty. That's essentially what personal conveyance is. Um, I was going to say something else. Totally forgot what I was so, going to say. So, and within expediting, within us, we don't have terminals and we don't, right. we, we do go home. But, you know, not as often as somebody who maybe goes home every night and on the weekends and all that kind of stuff where where they you know might use it differently than we do right but um but we you if you were to let's say you're you're going to be dispatch or you're dispatched on a load and you're going to pick up and you're you're like oh well the house is right there you know close to where we're going to be again you can't use personal conveyance to stop at your house which is on your way to to pick up or deliver right unless we it's, think the no, other, you can't if it's if it's right on. No, yeah, no, you're right. right. 
Because right. if it's in line with where you're going, if it gets you closer to wherever you're going, if your house it's, is closer... It's like some very convoluted board game. The other thing is each different carrier... Let's can, make up a board game. ...can make their... Yeah, the conveyance game. <laughs> conveyance conveyance or something. I don't know. Um, but each carrier can also make individual rules, like the carrier we drive for now. We can use up to two hours a day, each of us, mm -hmm. uh, for personal conveyance. The carrier that we were with previously would only allow us uh, 45 minutes a day. So, yay for so us. So there's some, uh, there's there's those type of things where it's different between each carrier. So if you have questions about it, make sure that you talk to the powers that be within your company or your uh, carrier. And the other thing that I should point out for what we do, how many times have we used personal conveyance in 10 years? Five? Know. Yes, because we, <laughs> truth, now let's, let's be, be truthful about this. This is because we didn't want to mess up. <laughs> and if we had the hours, it was like, eh, we'll just, we'll just stop we by just, Walmart on the way, you know, we or whatever. We would log it as on duty. Yeah. We're yeah. driving. It's, it's a hassle. You know, technically, if you get pulled over by the DOT for some reason, this happens. Um, you know, it's like, I think it'd just be easier if we were on duty. So we don't use personal conveyance. I mean, I, we have not used it at this carrier now even though we have the ability to and we rarely used it at our previous carrier so if you are weekends are when we we always thought we could do it right you know, that that was the time where we could do it but at the same time if that little walmart is on your way to wherever you're going you you've got to find a walmart that's in a different direction Right, you can't advance your position. You can't advance your position. I really think this is a board game. I, I think really from now think on, we're do this. when we're talking about loads, we'll just basically say that we are advancing our position. <laughs> advance. That sounds so cool. It sounds so board game ish. Yes, it does. It does. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but that's our take on personal conveyance. If yes. you have any thoughts, or if you're just like, yeah, I don't think that's what our carrier does, right. please leave it in the comments. And um, just just so we can inform other people and right. And if you, know. you are driving, check with your carrier to make sure their rules because carriers can not allow you to have personal conveyance. You know, some do, some don't. Everybody's got different rules. Check with them first. And if you really want to be bored out of your mind, go read about it. <laughs> other than you know, watching the end of this video, please go out and read the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Regulations. You got the number on that. It's in part 395, oh, somewhere in there. Oh, he does have the number in it. Yeah. Part 395, somewhere in there. Yeah, just go look up personal conveyance. Yeah, PC. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to get back to doing what we're doing, taking it easy here, sort of enjoying the Labor Day weekend. Uh, I hope yes. we've not muddied the waters too much. All of you have a great Labor Day weekend. Yeah. Because we probably won't talk to you till who knows when. Or maybe we'll surprise you and throw a video out tomorrow. <gasps> Could be. Hey, and by the way, check out our Facebook page because we have Jim put out some pictures out there on right. Instagram and Facebook. So, uh, of our New Mexico. Yeah. Just go look up. It's a highway vlog. There you go. Is that what we are? Is that we are? Yeah. That's who we are. Mm -hmm. So, so anyway, we'll end this one right here at, you know, it's supposed to be 10 minutes. Now it's 12 minutes and 30 seconds. Yep, so. He's worried about uploading. But we'll do that. So, I guess we'll see you all in the next video. So long, everybody. Good night.